Uh, hello people. Today I will be showing you a very quick guide on how to farm screws in Fallout 76. Now I personally haven't been playing Fallout 76 very much, uh, mainly due to just waiting for Wastelanders and just general disappointments with the game. Now that's not to say you can't enjoy it or you can't still play. Uh, this is a guide for a current patch that we're playing in right now, so if things change in Wastelanders, things might not. This might not necessarily be the best farm for screws in the future, but this is one of the best farms as of this patch. Uh, now, before we start this video, I would like to just touch on a quick uh, alternative method to farming uh, some screws. What you can do is you can fast travel to Pylon V13 over here and head into the abandoned bog town. What you're going to want to do is you want to head to the top of this building over here and then go down this elevator shaft. And in this area, you will find a bunch of typewriters, uh, globes, and uh, telephones that you can pick up for screws and springs. Now, I've already picked th these up, so they're no longer here, but you can do this once a day because the items no longer repopulate on server hop as an alternative means to collect a few screws. Uh, I, I personally wouldn't recommend uh, doing this like too much because the method I'm going to show you is repeatable and it's much, uh, I'd say it's easier because you're not like spending time picking up all these little things. You might have to wait a little bit between the, uh, the fast travels, but the method I'm going to show you I feel is a little bit more simpler and you can kind of just do it without worrying too much about all these little like things you might find like these and going through like all these inventories. It's, it's a lot less tedious, I feel. Now there's also another guide, a very in-depth guide by the Innovist Survivalist, or Innov Survivalist. I I'm not too familiar how to pronounce her channel name, but she is. She did a really good in-depth guide. I'm going to link that in the description down below if you're interested in that. But this guide is not in-depth. It's very quick. It's very easy, and it's very simple. So uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy. All right, let's uh, let's just start the video now. A little picture of uh, Kev Dewitt setting up his secret shop. I was uh, stalking him. Don't uh, don't tell him about this picture. <laughs> now, one thing I highly recommend whenever you're server hopping is starting and finishing within your camp. Because if you server hop within the area that you're meaning to farm, whether it be ore spawns, like ore veins, or creatures, if you server hop within the location you're meaning to farm, those will no longer be there. So whenever you're finishing your run, you want to return to your camp. My camp just happens to be over here. Uh, not that much being sold right now, sorry. Had a recent blowout before I left. Um, but whenever you sir hop, just make sure to come back to your camp, okay? So the first location that we're going to be going to is uh, Abby's Bunker. So you want to travel there, and you want to head south around the road. So here we are within Abby's Bunker. So you want to just turn south, head straight down, until you see the road. And then when you see the road, you can start following the road. What you're looking for is a Windigo spawn. That's a guaranteed spawn, uh, just right in front of a, a truck that's in the middle of the road. So we'll see it shortly. There's the truck. And the Windigo should spawn just right there. Uh, now I've heard that you can have multiple Windigos here. I've only personally ever had one Windigo at a time. So if you have uh, more than one Windigo, please let me know about that. Just to see if that's like actual thing that's true. So you just want to kill this Windigo. And then you got your first set of screws just right here. You got your five screws. Now the next location you want to head to is obviously Windigo Cave. You see what the main point of this farming run is is just killing windigos for screws and then server hopping now there's a couple of locations that have a good chance to contain windigos and we'll go over them all within this run oh we're almost done perfect so obviously you want to go to windigo cave now for this part i highly recommend having marsupial because there's a a really sh like quick shortcut you can take if you have marsupial but only if you have marsupial <clears throat> so what you're looking for is to the right of the cave, you'll see a hole in the wall that's a little bit higher up. So just stick to the right of the cave, stick to the right, stick to the right, and then there's the hole right here. 
And then you want to run down this hole all the way down. And over a trap, it's not a big deal. And stick to the right. Just keep sticking to the right. Until you see a waterfall. Yeah, just keep sticking to the right. And the waterfall should be just through this hole over here. There it is. Now this is another guaranteed Windigo spawn. So this will obviously contain a Windigo. Hence it being named Windigo Cave. There he is. There you have it, another set of screws. There you go, that's 10 screws already. And then you just want to fast travel from here to uh, <clears throat> Hawk's Refuge. Now this area does not have a guaranteed Windigo spawn. However, it's a one in three chance. And from my experience, it's actually a really decently chanced location to contain a Windigo. Now ignore it if it has mongrels or like whatever animal outside. Regardless of what spawns on the outside, the inside will always contain ghouls. And these ghouls can sometimes have a Windigo as their leader, I guess. Or it can be a bloated glowing one, or I think like a crowned ghoul. We'll find out which one of it which one it is. <clears throat> so just ignore all the mobs. Just run past them. You don't care about them. You want to go for the Windigo. And this time we got a Windigo. There you have it. These are three really good locations to get screws from. Just do, whenever you're in need of screws, just go to these locations, do a quick run, and then you can hop back to your camp from this location. I kind of messed up and cautioned, but normally you'd be able to fast travel from this location just fine. I'm gonna just kill these guys really quickly. Hopefully that'll go with my caution. Yeah, there we go. So then you just travel back to your camp. And then you can start the run all over again if you want to. Um, it's it's up to you whether or not you want to just do this run by itself for the screws or if you want to add it to, let's say, uh, run to Toxic Larry's Meet and Go for some acid from the Snallygasters there or if you want to head to, to Nagra Town to go see if there's a Mega Sloth there for screws as well as kill the, uh, the, the what, what are they called again? Cave Crawlers? Or um, the, the little mini death claws essentially for their acid. Uh, you can just add that too if you're looking to get some acid. But yeah, it's a really quick guide on how to get some screws. I think we got 15 from this. And you can just repeat it as many times as you want as long as you start and finish within your camp. We got, well, I think this is from something else, but I think we got like 16 or 15 screws from that run. But yeah, that's how you farm screws in Fallout 76. I hope you enjoyed the guide. And uh, if you're looking for more content like this, I would say subscribe, but I might not be making more videos depending on the quality of Wastelanders. So we'll see. I hope you guys have a great day.